Hey guys, uh, trying something different with the lighting, because every time I have the lighting for those of you don't, you know from the lighting in my room, the light, the only light in my room is directly above me, and I feel like that kind of affects the camera picture. So this one time around, I'm trying something different with a different lighting setting, hopefully it comes out better, but, so yeah, just, um, so I'm experimenting a little bit here, I'm trying to make things better video quality wise. But uh, anyway, uh, welcome to another pitch meeting reaction. This one's to the mo one of the most recent ones, Batman Begins. Now, I like the Dark Knight. I like the Dark Knight, like the trilogy of the Dark Knight um, movies, and they're really good. And I don't know if they've done the second one or the third one already, but I'm interested to see what they have to say about the first one. So, link will be in the description down below, and let's check this out. So, you have a Batman movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. Amazing, George Clooney's gonna be really excited to make another one. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you don't want a Batman and Robin sequel? No, I was thinking we could do Batman's origin story, but dark and gritty. It's a guy okay. that dresses up like a bat to fight crime, though. It's not really the kind of thing we can make dark and gritty. Of course yeah, we can. Yeah, you can. Oh, so? Well, for starters, by casting a very serious British actor with a temper. Oh, yeah, that is a good start. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, at the beginning of the movie, we're gonna have have a young Bruce Wayne Oh, holy Wait a minute. I just thought of something. Um, where do I have it at? Uh, Come on. Where are you at? No, I have you around here somewhere. Oh, that's not you. No, no, eh? No. Damn it. A few moments later. Where is it at? Oh, wait, I think I'm going that. One eternity late. Oh my gosh, it took a lot longer than I thought. And it was a lot harder to grab it. Since I did it for the Deadpool one, All right, let's go. ...and get traumatized by bats. Oh, no. Yeah, he's going to have nightmares, and his dad's going to be like, oh, man, it's the bats again, isn't it? Oh, poor little Bruce. <laughs> so then his parents bring him to an opera with just a bunch of bats in it. Oh, no, yeah, what? Yeah, so then he asks if they can leave, and both his parents get shot in the alley. Oh, my God. So as you know, <laughs> Oh the my fear god. Being a big part of his life. The fear of guys in alleys with guns. No, the fear of bats. Oh, I kind of thought that watching someone murder his parents in an alley would trump the bat thing, but okay. Yeah. No, 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 the tiny flying mammals are what spooked him the most. <laughs> well, okay then. So then okay. a bunch of years later, this guy Ducard wants to recruit him into the League of Shadows so he can be a ninja. Ninjas? Are you sure this is a dark and gritty film? Yeah, no, they're like serious ninjas, if you say so. So then Bruce and Ducard <laughs> kind of skate around on an ice rink and play hide and seek together. Oh, uh, and so then Bruce is a ninja? Almost, but first Ducard is like, hey, execute this criminal real quick. Oh, these are some serious ninjas. I know, right? But then Bruce is gonna say, I'm not gonna be an executioner, you doofus. Get out of here with that nonsense. So what does he do? Well, instead of killing the guy, he, you know, makes the entire building explode. Oh my god, what? Yeah, he just <laughs> the entire place to hell. But what if people die? Oh, they do die. Oh, they do? Yeah, the leader, Ra's al Ghul, dies and a bunch of other guys get ragdolled around a lot of ninjas die so what the hell was that thing about not being yeah an what the hell he just killed a bunch of people no he didn't kill them the explosion did i guess that makes sense anyways what? Then he's gonna save Descartes from falling off a cliff and head back to gotham wow so he's like a rogue ninja yeah basically and he hates crime and what does he do in gotham well he's gonna embrace his fear and become batman oh okay i guess it's good that his childhood fear wasn't the alleyway murderer guy yeah or instead of batman he would have been alleyway murder man definitely less cool so he's gonna go see this guy Okay. Fox that works at Wayne 
Enterprises. Okay. And it turns out that Fox has a bunch of cool superhero gadgets lying around that he's been working on because of reasons. That's very convenient for his plan of becoming a superhero. Uh, yeah, so Bruce is gonna get a cool costume and a bunch of gadgets. Oh yeah? Yeah, he's gonna get some cool explosive things. And what does he use those <laughs> for? He's gonna throw them at some cops that are chasing him and make their car flip. What? That could have easily killed them. Oh yeah, my god, yeah. Gonna. Right, but he couldn't have known that. If a car flips, there's a good chance that someone yeah. could die. But nobody's gonna be killed, so it's okay. Okay, man. Batman's also gonna become friends uh, with this guy, Jim Gordon. Okay. And they're gonna have these little chats together throughout the movie. Oh, they are? Yeah, like Gordon's gonna put out the trash at home and Batman is just waiting outside for him. Wait, so Bruce was just hanging out outside waiting? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> what if the trash hadn't been full that night? Well, maybe he knew that their garbage was gonna be full that night, you know? He is the world's greatest detective. But that would mean he's been keeping tabs on how full their garbage can is, like on a daily basis. Uh, uh, I guess so. What if Gordon's wife had put out the trash? Well, he must have known that Jim's the one to put out the trash. Wow, Batman must have spent a lot of time watching over their trash habits. Yeah, must have. Anyway, he's also gonna do this thing where he disappears mid-conversation. Why would he do that? Because it's mysterious. It's rude and inconsiderate. But also mysterious. Yeah, I guess. Uh, have Bruce okay. With his childhood crush, Rachel. Oh, we are. Yeah, and they're gonna reminisce about how they always used to steal condensed milk from Alfred. Condensed milk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we maybe change that to candy or something? No, you remember when you were a kid and you'd always be like, Mother, could I please have some sweet, sweet condensed milk? Uh, and she'd be all like, Not until you've brushed Mother's hair. Not until you've brushed it well. Oh, I think you might have had a weird child. <laughs> what? Did, I did. That some stuff. Anyway, what are the other characters in the movie? Okay. There's this guy, Jonathan Crane, a.k.a. Scarecrow. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and he has this fear gas that makes it go crazy and super scared of stuff. Wow. And Rachel is an attorney now, and she's getting real suspicious of him. Oh, so what does he do? He shows her that they've been dumping fear poison into Gotham's water supply for weeks. Why would he show her that? So we could see it. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay. Now we're gonna learn that this stuff gets activated when water evaporates, so the plan is to use targeted microwaves to do that. Wait, but you said they've been dumping this stuff in the water for weeks. Yeah, pretty evil, right? I mean, yeah, but hasn't anyone boiled water or made tea or had a hot True. shower? I guess True. not, no, not in several weeks. Wow, people in Gotham must stink. Probably. <laughs> Very stinky citizens. <laughs> we're also gonna learn that Ducard was the real Ra's al Ghul the whole time. Oh, so oh my god, I'm not being all messed up. No, that was a fake one. Right. And he wants to take the big microwave fake one? on a train ride to Wayne Tower and vaporize all the water. Oh, well, that's not very nice. Nope, and some of the stuff is gonna get released and people are gonna get all scared and crazy. Oh, no. Yeah, no, oh, gonna no. Run into this kid that Batman had a moment with earlier on in the film. Oh, what are the odds of that? Well, mm. what are the odds of anything? I don't know. Exactly. I guess that's a satisfying answer. And then that scarecrow guy uh. is gonna pop out and attack them. Oh, man, it's gonna be hard for Rachel and a child to take on a Batman villain. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, she's gonna be scared for a second, but then she's gonna, you know, tase him in the goddamn face. Oh, my God. Yeah, he freaks out. His horse freaks out. His horse? Did I not mention he's on a horse? He's on a horse. Oh, attacking people while on horseback is tight. <laughs> yeah, it is. So, <laughs> the reported to use the Batmobile to shoot down the train tracks and stop Ra's al Ghul from getting to Wayne Tower. Oh, sounds like a good plan. Yeah, and so then, you know, he does that. Oh, well, great. And so Batman jumps onto the train to fight Ra's al Ghul. Wait, why isn't it over? I mean, the train's gonna crash. Well, he wants to fight him. Well, okay then. So then they're gonna fight a little bit and Batman's gonna be like, I'm not gonna kill you, but I don't have to save you. Okay. And so he jumps off the train and Ra's al Ghul dies. Pretty sure that's still manslaughter. Yeah, but it's not murder. No, not as much as the stuff he did earlier. So Batman's a good guy. If you say so. So what do you think of the dark and gritty Batman? Well, it sounds like a good idea, but I think we should balance out the darkness with some jokes here and there, you know? You think so? Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, I don't know why. I just have this bad feeling about going too dark with it. I mean, what could go wrong with that, though? Hey guys, it's Ryan here. Hope you enjoyed that pitch meeting. We have a ton of these on the- Okay. Oh my god. A lot of times... A lot of times whenever I watch some of the pitch meetings now, I try so hard to keep my composure because I really want to hear what they have to say the first time around, you know? Of course, after when I first watch it and I get my thoughts on it, I'll probably check it out again, you know? Like, that way I could really hear what they have to say, but it got to a point where I, I just, I really want to hear what they have to, what they have to say, but it's so freaking funny that I just try to keep my composure and like, I just, I, uh, 
Oh my god. Oh my gosh, that was funny. I. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man, I absolutely love that. That was freaking great. Oh man. <laughs> when he's just constantly saying that, like, fear of bats. And I just kept on bringing it up and saying that it's usually the loss of Batman's parents or, you know, Bruce's parents that made him go to, like, lead the path of becoming Batman. But it's like, oh no, like, it was the fear of bats. Oh my god. And the building, Lake Raja will die in the train. Like, that is funny. It's all like. Like I'm pretty sure he's not a like I'm pretty sure he's not a good guy. Oh yeah, he is. Oh man, that's funny. <laughs> Everyone in Gotham must be stinky. <laughs> I think one of the ones that got me too was the whole thing with uh Batman being outside Gordon's house and like while waiting for Gordon to take out the trash. That's funny. Oh my god. Man, that one was so freaking funny. Uh all right, I, the DC, you know, the DC uh, cinematic universe, you know, like the concept of all of it, um, it's, it's cool to finally see that they're going with the route of, they're finally trying to add some sort of little bit of comedy relief from time to time in the film. It took a long time for them to do that. They've always been more dark and serious, you know? But I think for me, Dark Knight, the Dark Knight trilogy, they made it work. You know, they made the seriousness of it all. They made it work. Um, I feel like it was until after the Dark Knight series that like it was hard to continue making it work after that. You know, it was just something that was so good. It's kind of hard to try to repeat it. You know, like. So like once when they started like up the once when they actually started up the DC you know cinematic universe, um, it was kind of hard to keep keep at it you know like we have we now have Aquaman and Shazam and Shazam will be coming out soon that they obviously have a, a good amount of light humor in it like a decent amount like I said I have not seen Aquaman I am gonna try to go see it. Uh, but Shazam, even too, you know, from the movie trailer that I have seen, it obviously looks like they are adding a good amount of humor into it, you know, but also because of the concept of the character, you know, uh, but even regardless, even the, regardless of the concept of the character, it's okay to try to add some sort of humor from time to time as, you know, just it's, for a superhero f a film, try to have a good balance of both. That's all it really is. Um... That's why for me, like, Man of Steel, like, it was it was very dark. It had very light humor. I feel like it needed more. And it's funny, one of the things uh, I thought was hilarious from How It Should Have Ended, from Batman, Batman vs. Superman, How It Should Have Ended, uh, in the video, they had mentioned that, like, they had it jokingly as if Wonder Woman told them that, like, some of the things that was, like, wrong with the film was that Batman was killing people and Superman um, lost his smile. Like, Superman wasn't smiling at all. And I, which I thought was hilarious because Man of Steel, he doesn't really smile as much, you know? Superman is known just to be a smi like, you know, like a smiling, genuinely kind guy, like, you know, like a god-like being, honestly, who wants to help and protect people of Earth, you know? But, like, Man of Steel, he's shallowed and, like, he doesn't want to he's confined to himself and he doesn't want to reveal like or he doesn't want to try to like he, he helps people try to he tries to help people like on a lower profile you know but i feel like for with him and his powers that's hard to do you know so i don't know like that and then like yeah batman and batman versus superman you know like he was killing people <laughs> and that is batman's main code you know he does not kill people 
And for them to do that, it's very surprising. And he doesn't use guns, you know, and he, but he used uh, some sort of gun in the movie. Uh, Wonder Woman was good. It was really good, of course, but it, it had a little bit of a dark, dark, serious moment, but it did have a good amount of light humor. So it had it had some sort of balance of both. So that's what, to me, it did work a little bit. Uh, but DC, they're trying to get a little bit more on the lighter humor side. You know, um, that's what they're that's where they're failing at. So hopefully they get things right. Like I said, it's kind of hard to continue it after the Dark Knight that it works so well for it. So we'll see. We'll see how DC um, movies continue on after this. But the pitch meeting was hilarious. <sighs> Finally trying to come down from it. Oh my god, that was so freaking funny. Um, I mentioned before, I absolutely love pitch meetings. I hope you guys will check them out. Uh, go show them some support. And uh, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, uh, like, favorite, and subscribe. And let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see me react to as another pitch meeting next or anything else in general. I am open-minded to try to react to anything at this point. Or even always, really. So, yeah. Uh, like, favorite, subscribe. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until the next one, guys.